Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Zelp and today we are going to do a field test uh, for the Warframe electrical multiplier calculator that we created. Now yesterday due to poor time management I couldn't make a video in time uh, by right actually I wanted to rush it and I could have but then while rushing it I realized that there were actually some mistakes. So I did a field test yesterday. Due to certain mistakes I decided to troubleshoot and because of that I don't have enough time to uh, finish up that video so therefore after the troubleshooting I find that there are actually multiple uh, flaws in the uh, in the uh, in, in, in the calculator so some of the flaws that I like to address first is things like critical critical is actually taken into account and something that I realized is that if you hover over your mouse you can actually see a small description that says that it doesn't include physical elemental but it does include mods bonus like base damage, faction uh, damage, and critical. So apparently critical is also within this base damage, which we did not take into account. And a lot of weapon has their natural critical. So you find that before without the changes they have already made, um, it will not tally. The value does not tally that well because the uh, tick damage over here does not take into account critical. I also took the initiative to also test for viral multiplier and its stacks as well. So therefore we also have a multiplier for viral over here. Now multi shot is a little bit tricky because it, uh, someone actually said this in the discord but it doesn't actually increase your damage. Instead it increases the frequency of the total number of shots that you can do. Um, so therefore this will actually affect the status per second. And I haven't really think how I'm going to put it in. It's probably going to be a multiplier that increases sort of like attack speed in a way. Because uh, for every attack, there's a certain multiplier that would give you a chance of doing extra. And then from there, we can actually kind of change it into status uh, per second. So this is still something um, back in the background. Now, however, the guy actually said that it doesn't increase your DPS, which I feel like uh, it's not correct. Uh, it does increase your DPS. In fact, you can even say that it directly increases the DPS because let's say if you shoot 10 uh, times per second, and then if you have multi shot with let's say 100%, so now you shoot 20 times per second. So your DPS within the time is increased by exactly 100%. I think what he meant to say is that it doesn't increase the damage per hit. So therefore having the multiplier for per shot over here is still correct and we should definitely have it. Same goes with attack speed. Now another flaw that I found that was really important is these values over here. Before it was a stagnant value um, which is if I'm not mistaken 65 multiplied by all the other stuff and that doesn't actually work because that 65 is only taken into account with uh, one serration mod, one faction mod, one bane faction mod at 30%, and also one electrical mod at 90%, which I totally forgot that it included these three only. Uh, and when you change up those values, this whole thing will change as well. So uh, that is the second flaw that I made. So now if you click over here, you can see that it's linked to this box, and this, this box is pretty much the uh, calculation for uh, the tick damage. So now what this whole thing pretty much does is that it takes the uh, tick damage that you do per hit and then it's going to multiply with the total uh, multiplier that you have within a certain duration. So this is 5 seconds, this is 6 seconds. Uh, this is uh, if you have a full 6, that means each proc that you have within that, this full 6 does uh, 6 ticks. And then um, what you do is you see which category it belongs to, which is what this whole formula will do. And then based off that, it's gonna pull you in. It's gonna multiply by the status per second because all these things is based on per second. And then it's gonna tell you uh, how many hits that you're actually gonna do within the second uh, for this amount of damage. And then after that, it's gonna divide by the total number of hits that you do within that range. And then that's gonna give you your average electrical multiplier. Right, something that I realized is that the damage is really high. So I think I, there you go, I, I put this in wrongly. So this should be 0 0.32. Um, yeah, so you do have to be careful what you put in. Uh, what you realize is that on average per, per tick you'll do is only this amount. This is sort of like a checking thing. 
so you only do this amount but then you'll realize that the uh on average it's actually higher than the damage per tick because secretly each tick can take up to six times so you have to take that into account so it's not just looking at the damage per tick but then you have to think that oh this when it procs it can actually potentially do six ticks which is the old overall damage is a lot and then you have to take that into account now the other thing that you want to note is that things like critical multiplier like uh, speed uh, multi-shot there are things that you can't see so you don't see in terms of value uh, you have to take in the 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 average so because of the critical here the average per tick is actually this much I changed this name here but the values that you're gonna see is probably gonna be like 27 ish so right now if I were to come over here and show you my weapon that has no mods in right uh, and we're gonna just try and give a quick test over here actually you know what I think I should put in mods so that we can base off two different builds and then see if it makes sense uh, maybe if we have enough time we'll do even three different builds so now we have to try and random stuff and see what should we put so I feel like a serration would be good um, we're not gonna play with multi shot because multi shot has that whole aspect that I'm not really sure yet let's put in Stormbringer let's put in a bane we're gonna test it with infested oh i feel like it's actually gonna die so fast that we might not be able to tell much uh we're probably not gonna be using a charger we'll try and use a ancient uh what else can we put in oh yeah critical so let's put in a point strike point strike okay um so let's test this build versus Versus what? Should we put? I feel like serration is so so buff, right? Um, let's put Stormbringer. Let's put the Bane. Uh, let's make a full critical, which consists of Point Strike and Organ Shatter. Is it? What's the other one? Oh no, it's the uh, yeah, Vital Sense, and then. Let's put in, oh, it's already four mods. Okay, let's leave it at that. And then let's put one more for, we're gonna put Stormbringer again, or maybe not. Let's not put Stormbringer, let's put in a different element, right? So that will make things a lot more interesting. Um, something that will not change stuff too much. The problem is it only has electrical so if I put something in it might merge with electrical and become something else let's try to put this in yeah it becomes elect it becomes magnetic uh, unless uh, and I can't put any one of the IPS's because I don't think it works let's see this one impact yeah it doesn't work because there is no impact damage to increase okay so we have no choice we're still gonna be using electric um, but let's say this time we try and make it statusy. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do an uh, all rounder. We have Bane, this one, this one. Uh, let's not. Damn it. Okay, let's put this in and we put a point strike in to 80%. And then the other one is gonna be more on critical. So we have this two in. We have Hammer Shot. And then we have a Stormbringer. And then this one is going to be more on status. So configuration C has the highest status. Configuration B has the highest critical. And configuration A is like uh, in between. I do kind of want to remove this. Okay, uh, we're going to put back the uh, status one. So it, so it has some status, it has some critical and then electrical buff as well. So... Yeah, I think I think this would be a good test. So I'm going to try between this tree and see which one is better. Ooh, there's a lot of things that we need to put in. So let me... Oh yeah, by the way, I want to mention something. Is that I was invited to uh, join the public test cluster thing. Uh, but although I have the key, I'm not going to use it because I feel like um, if I can't make a content out of it, I feel like it's just going to be potential spoilers to me i would rather play it when it's fully finished uh, although i think it is a very honorable thing to do to be participating in the uh, 
in in the whole testing to help them improve it's just that i feel like i don't have the whole the time for it and i really want to finish my calculator so yeah i just wanted to let you guys know that i won't be participating in the test and i don't think i can give away that key to someone else to join the reason why is because it can potentially get me banned because those key are probably tied to each individual uh hand picked or i don't know maybe all the warframe partners have it so although i'm not joining i can't let someone else join in as well which is kind of sad okay so let's start by putting in the values this is already done it's the base stats so we're gonna look over here we don't have fire rate reload speed nothing nothing critical critical we do have so for critical we are using a point strike which gives you 150 i know that 150 percent okay and then after that we have a bane over here 0 0.3 we have serration 1.65 multi shot we're not testing that the elemental we have high voltage which is 60 so 0 0.6 uh, okay so far so good and then the next thing that we increased is over here which is the uh, what do you call this one uh, which is to 0 0.6 so this one is different by the way if you look over here the uh, the elemental such IPS this value and this value should be different in this situation where we only have electrical procs uh, it's the same right but then if we were to add something else let's say we put fire mods in and then you have heat damage so this one will increase but this one will still be the same because this is only for electrical element um, so you have to you know, know that that's that before you use the calculator now this one you don't really have to change even though technically because of the 60% this value has gone up but this is only trying to find the status way and since there's no other status competing um, so it's going to be fully whatever status it has on the gun and that is the status that is going to be proccing electric so from what I can see right now the status is 35.2 so what you need to do here is we need to change this to 35.2, which is like that. And anything else that I want to do, I don't think there's anything else left. I think we're good now. Okay, so for the first scenario, we should have a multiplier value of 15.7. So we're going to copy this. We're going to put it over here. You see there's like previous numbers, which uh, is just something that I did in a pre previous uh, testing. So right now we're doing something different. It's also for the first time. So I really don't know what's going to happen. Uh, hopefully something good. And then versus the second one, which is this one. So right off the bat, I should be able to tell you which one is better and which one is worse just based off the calculator. And that's the beauty of it. Uh, and this one is going to be... Okay, so we have to change some stuff again. So over here, damage. Uh, this part is still going to be the same. Over here, we don't have our serration on we have a critical vital sense on which gives you 120 percent if i'm not mistaken yes so 120 percent we have stormbringer uh which we don't have the other thing so over here we have to increase this to 0 0.9 uh we don't have a bane mod zero over here for status is now 30 9.6 okay and what else do we have this one is now 0 0.9 okay let's see so in the second oh okay so i put in something wrong you can see the value go up like tremendously high i'm pretty sure i put in something wrong there you go the status chance i put this wrongly so it needs to be 0 0.396 right okay so it's all oh, it's lesser okay so going for a critical build in this particular situation again there's like a lot of uh limitations like we're only using four mods for the test uh and so on and so forth so for this particular situation being so critically might not be the the best uh outcome i guess let's see Although this is a critical weapon though. Okay, so from from at least the values here, we can see that the first case should kill faster. 
because if you think about it, there's more multipliers here. You have the bane, you have serration, the damage, you have some critical, and also you have the uh, the elemental and also some status. So there's a lot of multiplier in this going on. This one's pretty much trying to use the advantages of having, because the weapon has high critical and high critical multiplier, to try and boost up based on the crit, right? And it didn't turn out that well, it seems. And then finally, we have this one, which we have serration. Okay, so now we're gonna put in this one in. So serration, uh, oops, wrong side. So here will be 1.65. Uh, we don't have oh wait a minute Wait a wait a minute. I forgot that hammer shot also have critical damage of 60% So that means that let's go back a little bit. This one needs to add 60% which is 1.8 1.8 Oh, okay. It got a little bit closer, but it's still not good enough copy so over here in fact, if they're too close, it's also going to be hard to test because then um, luck has a lot to, to play in. If you crit a little bit more, and then it doesn't show the outcome that we're supposed to see. Uh, so I'm actually hoping that these values can go a little bit further so that it's something that we cannot really tell from just looking at it, but then it's something that we can tell, you know, really obviously in paper. So let's go for the last build. Okay, so last build again, serration, 1.65, no multi-shot, uh, faction, this time we have 0.3, uh, this one is, we are using high voltage, so it's 0 0.6, okay, the status is now a lot, so this is more of a status build, so it's going to be 0 0.528, and then for critical chance, we don't have any, but then for the, uh, this one is 60%, so 0 0.6 over here. So a little bit more on the, the critical at 80%. Ooh, no, no, no. This one is the multiplier. Uh, what else did I put in that I did not involve in? Uh, I think that's it, right? Okay, so let's move over to this side and we have to change this to 0 0.6. Uh, I think that's it. Okay. It's even higher? I did not expect this. I thought the first one is gonna be the winner. Did I did I put anything wrong though? Let me see. I'm worried because there's just so many things, so many information that you have to put in, it's easy to get it wrong. Right? The more variables I give you guys to, to put in, the more chances of making mistakes. Okay, so from so far what we see, which is so weird, because who would have thought, right? The last scenario is actually the one that's supposed to kill faster than the first. Uh, and then, so this one's gonna kill faster than this one, and this one's gonna kill faster than the critical one. Okay, uh, one thing I do wanna point out is that all these values that you see here is all based on the multiplier for critical after three seconds. Okay, let's put into the field test and give it a try. So we are going to start from A. Uh, you know what, just to make it less confusing, let's start from what we predicted to be the one that can kill the fastest and all the way to the slowest and see if the clip size keep on you know, increasing. Uh, I mean, the amount of shots, if it keeps on increasing. Uh, also, good thing about the MPREX is that it has, I think, 100 magazine size, so we should be good for you know the test. Okay, so I'm doing this for a second time because the first run didn't go so well. Um, so we are going to go again. Uh, the reason why it didn't go so well is because his arm was in the way. Sometimes when he gets stunned, his head comes down and it might block me. So I have to stand at like this angle. And I think the safe place is his thigh here. Oh boy. Okay, so ready, set, go. Fat meaty ties. Okay, we did like 60, which means that it killed in, in only 40 hits. Let's reload this. Uh, I feel like that was kind of a lucky shot though. 40. A lot of crit probably happened. 55. So this is just almost 40, this is 45 hits. 
I'll try to get a sample size of four. So here, because it's really close, uh, chances are this guy is gonna get some of the electric procs, so we won't be able to use this group uh, twice. So only can use it once and another group over there. So total of four tests. Yeah. Ooh, this one took a little bit longer. So at 43, this means 57 hits. Okay, let's reload. We have 50, we have... We have 45, we have uh, 50 something. Oh god, I have to look at the replay. Okay, now this one. The thighs, the thighs. Sweet thighs. Oh, 40. Okay, so I'll say that it's about 40 to 45, right? So now let's try configuration A. Aiming. I feel like this is the one with the most multiplier. Ooh, uh, 45, okay. That's actually not too bad. Oh, there's a lot of crit going on here. Yeah, because we have point striking. Oh. Uh, again, almost 45. This is like 46. Uh, oh. Where's your buddy? Everybody know here. Hmm, uh -huh. forty-five is pretty consistent. I think it's consistent because the uh, critical chance is like eighty percent, so it's more. What people here did? Okay, right, so far we did like three at least, and all three gave us about forty-five. So. That is something to I think I think it's safe to say that it's about 45, right? Let's resummon this. Okay, and then this time we're gonna try to use configuration B. So we already can see that it is true configuration C is better. And then now we're gonna go for our configuration B, which is like this. Okay, this is more critical. It's trying to take advantage of the uh, the critical multiplier and the critical chance. So let's see how this will go. Ready summoned? Okay. So you're gonna see a lot of large yellow numbers. Boom. Oh look at all the yellows. But it's not killing faster. Oh, oh 50. Okay. Yeah, it's it's definitely. Oh wait, we can still go one more over here. This guy's not affected. Fifty again, very consistent. Okay, let's do two more. Oh, I oh okay. I was thinking like why this guy did not take this stance. Weirdo. Oh wow, this one took a lot longer. Uh, how much was that? 35. You get like 65. What? Okay, maybe he was. It's just one of those bad days, right? Feel the pain in your thighs. Feel the burn. 47, which is uh, 53. So about 50 to, I don't know, 53-ish, right? So I feel like this is kind of the kind of proof that I'm trying to get here. So just from the calculator, we can actually come up with, just by looking at it, by putting in information, we can actually calculate which one is better and which one will kill faster, uh, things like that. Now, the problem with this kind of testing is that we are testing regarding to damage per hit. So if you have things like fire rate uh, and multi-shot, then you should be testing against uh, damage per second, right? Because it's no longer, because if I have a lot of fire rate, then I'm obviously gonna 
kill the enemy faster, but I'm gonna use a lot more bullets. Then we cannot really calculate it this way. That's why I kinda also avoided fire rate and also one of the reasons why I also avoided multi-shot besides being, you know, multi-shot not ready yet. However, this calculator does allow you to put fire rate and also multi-shot into play. So when that happens, the value that I see over here will take in fire rate and multi-shot as a multiplier. That means it's taking it as if it's giving him damage per shot. So in that sense, the one with the larger number is the one that's going to kill faster, even though it did not technically say, you know, dealing damage per second. All in all, I feel like it still works and it makes sense. Uh, the next thing that we're probably going to do is I'm going to figure out how to put a multi-shot in. We'll probably put it in as a attack speed to increase the number of hits per second. And then after that, it's going to calculate a new status per second. Then we can use multi-shot over here. And multi-shot over here is still going to be the same because this is the, uh, the base, the initial damage. Uh, and I think that with higher multi-shot, that just means that you actually do more damage per second. The next thing that we're probably going to look at is the other DOTs. I feel like since we have already uh, figured out electric, we can actually do one for slash uh, and also toxin, uh, maybe even gas. I'll put the current spreadsheet and what it has uh, down at the comments. So feel free to click on it and try it out. Now, if you find yourself unable to edit anything, just copy it, make a duplicate and then use that to play around. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.